Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last days of Europe. I'm your host, Mercenary Mocha Lover, or really American Mocha Lover, because, well, we're making the United States of Siberia a reality. But let's go ahead and continue with the focus, and then get to some more comments. Let's go ahead and do expanding our horizons. The United States is our greatest ally and our beloved sister republic. But they're not our only choice for trade. We have the entire OFN available to us. Canada, New Zealand, Australia, even England, if the regime is welcoming. We shall send dignitaries to these great democracies in order to negotiate lucrative trade deals. If we truly wish to be the sister republic to America, we must engage in friendly diplomacy with America's allies. The OFN are the last bastion of freedom in this cruel world, and are the shining example for what a republic can become. Also, they are all very prosperous, and if we maintain strong relationships with these nations... They might aid in our republic in more material ways, which is why I want to do it next. So, uh, a couple comments. First of all, someone wants me to play. Actually, a couple people want me to play as Bormann's Germany. Yes, I do want to play Bormann eventually. I'm not sure when I get to him since I'm coming right off after, before this campaign. I was playing as Hadrish again. Bormann's Germany. He's. I'll just put it on the list. Now, someone also recommended I play as Boggy Smerti, the Antichrist, the, one of the Russian warlords. For um, once Muscovine falls apart, so maybe, maybe eventually, I don't know. And also, the influence here has been 40, 50, 50, 16.5, 41 and a quarter, 41 and a quarter, so it's a little different now, which is cool. Now, we could buy American artillery, trucks, guns, improve American relations. We need more helicopters, we need more casts, and we need more artillery and anti tank. So actually, I don't mind buying maybe a few pieces of artillery. That might be really good for us. We get 150 units. They're only early artillery. Whatever. But I am a little worried, though. I'll put it like that. Just because with these guys, we might be able to peacefully re reunify. But they have up to 31 divisions. We have 16. Now, some of our guys are actually 40 combat with, which is very nice. We have three divisions that are, but I'm a little worried about it. But how about we go ahead and do... We can do all that stuff. We can do back in the game... We did by Dawn's Early Light. <clears throat> you know what? Let's just go ahead and do Global Reach. We will, we will be needed by countries, large and small, east and west, all over the globe that have not developed our military capability yet. Our teams are capable of not only developing that capability, but achie achieving it and activating it. And we should not be ashamed of charging them for what our services are worth. <clears throat> With a network of financiers, pilots, informants, and above all dogs of war, any client willing to pay can have a special force team delivered by Learjet when they are needed overnight. West Alaska is set to become the world's greatest supplier of globe-trotting armed muscle. Very good. Very, very, very good. It's 68. Mm. Mm, I really want military factories, but we're running out of space to build. I'm going to go and grab this. I'll try to fish up industry as fast as possible and really focus on just, like, guns and such. And look how much we've whittled the annual deficit down. And this is with civilian budget boosts. So, once this, these two are done, we'll be great. We'll be really, really great. And actually, oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and build some military factories. Now we won't be as great, because that's going to cost more money, but we need we just need military factories. Having 90 is good and all, but we need more. Because we need more early helicopters, we got to get more artillery, and especially we got to get some more basic anti-tank. That's really one of the key ones that we're missing here. Which is not very good for us. And what else can we do? Uh, initiate programs. We have a good amount of stability already. Import heavy machinery would be nice. Construction. Guns, trucks, refine. I wonder how high we can keep our relations with the Americans. Hey, another 40 combat with infantry. Nice. Very good. It'd be one thing if we had absolute air superiority, but we might, we might not. So... We're playing a kind of a dangerous game here. Now, if I how high can we go? Can we go a high? Can we go higher than high? You know what? I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens. A global reach, supply net. What work? Do you have the journals and you want them gone, but you ain't got the guts? He keeps nagging at you night and day, and then you can drive that, and that drives you nuts. Do you have problems with your prime minister and a broken deal? He's double dealing with the Swiss banks. That's when the cash starts disappearing. Do you have a problem that no one else can help with? You know where to find us. Pick up the phone. We're always at home. Call us at any time. We can handle anything. Get in and get out without anyone knowing it was you that hired us. So maybe that's as high as it can get. Is just high. Unless it has to be very high. I like get tanks from them and jets. It's not bad. Even though I would prefer to do some more of this stuff down here. France says with Germany. Prepare for war. That's we have to 69. Hopefully Central Siberia is okay with uniting. Because we actually kind of like each other. They're a conservative democracy, we're authoritarian democracy, we're pretty, we're fairly close in terms of 
relationships. In terms of relationships, I should say. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, yeah, so many more stuff. Oh, my dreams of just having some helicopters, please. So I did throw on a few more divisions to be made, too, so. That's why our deficit's looking a little bit worse right now. Very good, and denouncing the enemies of freedom. Very good. While cooperating with Germany and Japan is not entirely out of the question, we must remember that we are allies of America. As an ally of America, though, however, we have a duty. A duty to uphold the freedoms and liberty and to combat fascism in whatever form it takes. Germany and Japan are enemies of America, and therefore are enemies of freedom. Their states are naturally inherently oppressive. We shall denounce them and decry their heinous crimes. By doing this, we will demonstrate to the world that we fight for freedom, liberty, and justice. This will help secure our reputation amongst the rest of the OFM, help ensure that they support our republic and the fight for Russia's future. And I'm going to continue just investing more money, because even though that's not good for cutting down, I really should, maybe should stop like slashing the budget, because that does hurt our production output, but I'm going to keep doing this, so, because we need to. Good, good. Can we build any more areas here? Oh, yeah, down there, maybe a little bit. So we're making one more military factory, and that will go to anti-tank, beyond the Far East. On radios around the globe, a man with an American accent spoke with a gusto akin to a used car salesman over the radio. Do you need a mercenary force to fight off those pesky invaders? Do you need to fight against some idiots who took over your country and you're, willing, and you're wanting to take it back? Here in West Alaska, we offer the world's best mercenary forces, equipped with the latest in military technology. The West Alaskan Expeditionary Force, or WAEF, is ready and able to help any nation or people fight. Now I may... Now, I know you may ask, oh, Freddy, these guys might not even understand what we speak, or they might even kill us. Well, not to worry, my friends, for WAEF is not only professional in all its actions thanks to its rigid discipline, but also is multinational and able to speak almost any language in the world. So what are you waiting for? Hire the WAEF today, no matter if it is from the jungles of Africa to the hills of Britain. We'll be there. To hire us, please telegraph the West Alaskan Foreign Ministry, and they'll discuss pricing and even offer financing. So come hire the WAEF, because you don't want to miss the other side hiring us. Next, he'll start talking about guns, about money, about guarantees. Mark my words. Money back guarantees, huh? That my bad. That's what he really meant to say. Offer contracts? Oh my goodness. A Republic. Whoa. Can we do Falanga Spain? Mercenary country. It seems our generous offer to send mercenaries to Falanga Spain has been accepted. A group of defense consultants have already are already en route to the location to begin providing the particular services. While some may balk at the prospect of using hired help for their wars, it seems it would be good. To, it is good to see some out there do not mind shelling out some extra cash to leave their bloody business to the professionals. This won't be. They won't be disappointed like that. I, oh my goodness! I can. We have four billion in debt. Hmm. But, uh, if I send you guys over, that's only two guys, I'll send three, maybe. I, I don't really, maybe I should not help out the Falangists. I don't really care, to be honest with you, too much. So, can we get a lot of money if we help them out? I mean, and these guys are 40 combat with, so wherever I place them, they'll do probably pretty darn well, but, hmm. Hmm. 41 left, and then after this, denouncing the enemies of freedom, which is good. And we'll get some basic motorized equipment, too. Not bad. Not bad at all. Maybe we should have supported these guys, actually. Eh, they didn't really like us anyways. Despotism, fascism. I mean, they have liberal democracy, which don't really like us either. A little bit of lag here and there. Let's see, authoritarian democracy, of course. So we maybe should have supported them, but then again, I mean... The Iberian Wars... They probably don't really care that much. These guys are national socialists. These guys are despotists. We got some basic motorized stuffs. Good. Let's grab some better guns. We're still using such outdated equipment. My goodness. All right. So we could do this stuff, but I'm thinking this stuff down here. We could use a little bit more uh, manpower. Let's go and grab this one. It's always good to grab that one. Always good. All right, let's see if we can get involved in some action here. Led by Roger Faki. Yeah, he's level four attack. That's pretty good. And then by Pavlov, maybe. Yep, there he is. That's... Is it really, you know, Hearts of Iron Four? If you don't get involved in the Spanish Civil War, it doesn't matter what era. Infantry expert, adaptable. I gotta go adaptable. That's I love adaptable so much. And Roger, what do you have for us? Not too much. Recruit the corrective labor camps, the VCLC, huh? Oh, there goes those guys. 
This is so weird. I was not expecting us to get involved in Spain or Iberia, but hey, you know what? Here we are. All right, denouncing the enemies of freedom and industrial readout. Oh, look at that. More max volunteer forces and recruitable population factor. The Republic of West Alaska has a reputation within the world stage. Especially amongst the OFN, we are not only a legitimate international state, but we are also a business partner. Wet work, spilling blood, assassination to be blunt, or brown books allow us to do things that no other state would even consider. Whenever a nation needs a bit of dirty work done, where, whenever they need a troublesome thorn removed, we will be there. We shall be soldiers without borders, a military sans frontieres. We will be an international redoubt willing to do the dirty work necessary to clean up the reputations of any nation that desires our service if they can pay the fee. All right, so if you really want to help out, uh, we could you could help, but uh, well, if you're already winning there, that's fine, whatever. And we don't really have a lot of the guns to spare and such, but if we can get involved, that sounds like so much fun. I don't even send air volunteers yet. That's fine, whatever. Actually, send all but you go up there, there, there. Valencia's actually been cut off, but it, you know it's still some. Um, it's still a port, so. Being attacked by tanks, tell them no. Tell them to go home. Yeah, we definitely need more anti-tank. Holy crap. Good. Nice. Help them out right here. Just send over your local 40 combo with infantry and they'll do anything. Offer contract. Wait, I can do it again? Okay, sure, why not? Margaret Thatcher re-elected. Actually, is she in the OFN? Man, if if there's whenever TNO2 comes out, then we would probably definitely if we were playing Werble during that time, we would probably like join the OFN as well. American relations are high. They'll go they'll fall down a little bit more, but that's okay. How are we doing over here? I'm going to need more military factories. I don't really care about the cost as much now since we have already maxed everything out here, so we just gotta be a little bit careful. Money wise, four billion in debt. And actually we still have some Liquid reserves, huh? 10 million? Not much. 200 million in terms of deficit. That's actually not too bad, actually. So. And our growth rate's 9.1, so that's not too bad compared to the 12%. Whatever. Whatever. You want to take out Valencia with them? Go ahead. This gives us a little bit more experience, hopefully. That'll be good. And Scott, we got us pretty good. Cool. Don't even, even worry about doing that. All right, up next, we'll probably help them out right here. Yeah, it's either the federal government, which is led by Franco. I mean, I do want Franco to win and all, but I don't think he has a focus tree anymore, does he? No, he doesn't, so. International readout, and we're done with that. And what you'll do, counterinsurgency units. Our military men may have won us control of the eastern Siberia, but they are not suited But they are suited to frontline combat, not the sort of low-intensity guerrilla warfare that has become an increasingly concern in our countryside. Communists and fascist militias have begun to take up arms against us, launching terrorist attacks and striking our garrisons. If we do not take action sooner, armies in danger of being overwhelmed by a type of enemy that is not prepared to fight. Siberia's landscape is as hostile as it is unique, and in many ways it is the perfect place for small groups of insurgents to hide from a larger foe. To counteract this natural advantage, we must create units specifically dedicated to hunting down and destroying cells of rebels and terrorists. Using techniques like that they've learned in guerrilla warfare, like Indonesia and South Africa, our mercenaries will lead elite teams to track down and eliminate any radicals who try to oppose us. Very good. Very, very, very good. Give us some time to get over that great conspiracy. Perhaps it might be true. Expand the welfare state programs. That's absolutely next, because poverty rate, gotta get better. And that actually gives us a lot more money, because actually, I believe we're still on 50 to... 75% poverty? The yeah, 50 to 80% 80, 80%. So it's rapidly improving. Which is nice, but it's going to be take a while for that. Army pressure, professionalism is doing great. Oh boy, that's not good. Oh, we're about to get a better industrial base. So we get a little bit more cap, more tension, and gain. So that's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Oh, they're fighting up north, huh? That's fine. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother with them. You guys just focus on these guys down here. You'll be fine, probably. They're sending soldiers up there, so... Well... Yeah, they should be. Yeah, they are. That's good. We'll be fine. Good. Wow, those IFEs are not looking good. But that's okay. They're not our IFEs. They're their IFEs. Circle destroy. You, know, you should probably leave one guy here, actually. That'd be the smarter thing to do. Help them out. And circle, and they go bye bye. There you go. Let time go on. 
and help take him out. Beautiful, my friends. Offer, I mean, can I offer another contract? How many contracts do we have? Nice. Oh, they're attacking over river using tanks. Such a bad idea. Beautiful. How many men have we lost? We can't really afford to lose too many men. Obviously. Oh, that's a thousand. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Military construction? Great. Let's grab the next one, too. What, what are we missing, actually? Uh, aluminum? Um, I don't mind maybe trading a few pieces away for aluminum. Uh, actually, that's okay. Because even though that hurts our budget and such, you know, whatever. Oh, what's happening? And there goes Scotland, also known as Dunehammer Gaming's Paradise. Cool, so that should help us make a few things more quickly. England defeats Scotland, counterinsurgency units. Important thing is not what they think of me, but what I think of them. Expand Cheryl Mushki Air Base. The greatest threat to our nation lies to our west in central Siberia. The region is well known for its industrial power, and the city of Novosibirsk is, in particular, emerged in the interwar years as a hub of Rus Russian aviation. As the region pulls itself back together and prepares for expansion, we are likely to be the first target. Their meager air fleet is woefully unprepared. Ours is un woefully unprepared. To defend against our armada, we expect that they should be able to field. Our first step to addressing this is expanding the facilities our pilots can operate from. Currently, our largest air bases are what remains from before the collapse of the Soviet Union with a few half-hearted expansions and modernizations thrown in. Some of these facilities have great potential to be combat bases for a new air force, and one in particular known as Cheryomushki. It is a prime candidate for, to serve the, as a new headquarters, lying to the west of Cheetah, as far enough from away from the front lines to be safe, but not so far that our pilots cannot reach a fighting on time. Air XP, air bases, and fighters, and cast. Awesome, exactly what we need. God, I love cast. <clears throat> better industrial expertise, new training programs, motivated by a need for better workers and managers that has resulted in industrial workplaces that are more exact, efficient, and smart in their production of goods. New technologies and equipment are important, but they will never trump the human element, that which is driven by practice and education. These new training programs, motivated by national vocation programs and investments in worker safety programs, have driven our workers further towards true, perfect industrial efficiency. When the clock in, they'll become machines of the highest order. That is the goal. Very good. Head on over here and just help beat them up. These guys up north will take them out next. That's fine. Good, good, good. Actually, since they're already weak, just let them come, come down here. I'll be fine. And we'll cut off these guys. The Black League. Oh! The Black League actually won, huh? Is that... Oh, Yazov. Oh, boy. I heard he doesn't like... <clears throat> Germans. Fueled by hate. That's one of his national spirits. That's awesome. And we should be over there very soon. And boom, we are. Nice. Can you just cut these guys off? That'd be awesome. Alright. Iberian Wars. Hopefully they pay us. I really hope they pay us after we're done here. Advanced elemental stuff. That seems okay. It's probably better just to get more uh, bonuses to research and stuff, but that's okay. Nice. Even more artillery, because that's going to be the bread and butter of how we're going to win. We can focus on like infantry stuff, but really artillery. 10% more artillery attack versus like 2% more, like, soft attack for infantry divisions. Not good enough. Now, really, Cadez is what we really do need to take. So, help them out. There you go. If they want to leave Seville, I mean, that's a really bad idea for them. There you go. Good job, guys. Hopefully, we get paid quite a bit for this. Oviedo? Along in Spain. Oh, wow, they do just a general attack. It's kind of, kind of crazy, but whatever. Hmm. And well, we got more than enough motorized, so. Artillery is looking great. The mysterious disappearance of Abish. Yeah. Oh, no. That's not good. And you know what's also not good? I just finished my coffee. Never enough. All right. The West Alaska Navy. Though a navy will not be of much use in a potential war in central Siberia, we also have a long coastline to account for and numerous nautical threats we must not neglect. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, the waters of the Sea of Okhotsk became a modern hotbed of piracy, though the worst of the pirates have long gone. A few of the stragglers remain active. To the south lies the Empire of Japan, the strongest naval power in the world, and a nation we have a chilly relationship with at best. While we have no illusions of opposing their naval dominance, we must not concede control of the sea to them without a fight. To this end, a small, modern, and combat-ready navy must be established. Though it will be stuck in port during the winter months and mostly be used for coastal patrols when it can operate, it will still be a powerful symbol of Russia's revival and our commitment to creating a nation strong enough to defend itself. So, so naval XP, a double 50% research bonus for ships, and naval for three years. Okay, I mean, I'm not going to really do much about that, but whatever. 
All right, so we're done building factories. Not yet. We're still trying to make a few more military factor factorinos. And that's not bad. All right, guys. Seems like you guys could probably help out now. Let's head on down here. Send in the 40s. Is Roger learning anything? He's learning a little bit, yeah. Infantry leader, hills fighter, organizer. All really, really good stuff. We could be attacking the capital, but I want to attack these guys just so that we can get more experience for Roger. Get more experience for our soldiers. As well as cut these divisions off over here. So, there you go. Civilian budget boost. Uh, as much as I want to cut the budget. <clears throat> I'm done cutting military spending. Actually, we could boost the military spending so that we can make even more... You know, equipment, which is super, super important right now. So we get more resource efficiency gain, less consumer goods, more stability, war spot construction speed, which is totally good, 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 good. Are these guys fighting anyone else now? Okay, okay, good. Now our soldiers are coming back, and we're not supporting his side. West Alaska Navy. So actually, can we help out Portugal then? They don't like us, and they don't like us. Exhausted nation. Exhausted nation. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll give it to the victors. So we want to help out regular Portugal then, right? Make it easy for us. Galician Republic. Oh, wait. Morocco and all that are looking pretty good. There you go. That's any contract accepted. Great. Another division. <clears throat> awesome, my friends. Awesome. Adapt and imp improvise. <clears throat> Binky. Um, I'm joining with my cat, Binky, who's currently... The sunlight. Uh, the Siberian terrain is harsh for fighting, mostly in the wilderness. We must learn from the natives on the terrain transversal and adapt our military tactics. Our mercenaries must be fully prepared to fight in the wasteland like this. Also included is our training in, in our soldiers to improvise in situations where traditional planning does not work. This combined with harsh terrain training harsh terrain training should make our army duly prepared for fighting the Siberian winter. A bonus for land auction, well we already have that kind of done, so whatever. <clears throat> I'm waiting for our soldiers to get back here first. We'll see what happens. So, do we get paid from them at all? Like, guys? <laughs> yeah, uh, when will they be back? October 1st, we got a few days left, that's fine. Let's go ahead and, well, we can close that for now. American guns, trucks, nothing there that is super, super important. We still have higher relations, which is good. And mechanization, agriculture, yes. Absolutely yes. And we're done building factories for now, huh? Improved academic base. The foundation of society is eroding. It cannot be overstated how the institutions that define civil life rest on the bedrock of the written word. Society marches forward hand in hand with the literature of the time that lives and dies by the high tides of writing. She sleeps when the pages are burning and awakens when a young, curious person decides to scratch something on the palm leaf. It is a progenitor of liberty may spell the end of it. Our schooling and our literacy matter more than just nearly anything else. When it dies, progress isn't just halted, it actually begins to wither. Progress towards whatever ideal, be it racial purity, free market, or equality, cannot survive without a pen. So yes, our universities have expanded, but some man today is newly learning how to read and opening up Pandora's box at his writing. That is something to be celebrated. So we get more cap, research speed, and output, which is really, really good. This is why I like doing agriculture, too. Wow, we actually need more guns, finally. We finally need more guns. This is not turning out very well for us, is it? We need more factories. Oof. All right. And time to send you guys now. We can set up to four. Uh, I think three is good enough. Three is good enough. So, You know, I'm going to increase military spending. Why? Because now we have a billion in deficit, which I don't like and all, but... With a billion, we get 10% more factory output. And more population, but I'm really here for the output. Up to 15 divisions... These guys, 38 divisions. They might be 40 combat with as well, which is which does worry me. Um, as long as we have a 20, I think we'll be okay. But but really, these guys have to be like 40 combat with. Adapt and improvise. Very good. I just really hope we can peacefully reunify. That's my real hope here. All right, led by Pavlov again. Thank you. And a haven of our own. Long have mercenaries been vagabonds, international outcasts for the unpopular profession. Few chose this path, and, may, and many can never leave it. The Republic of West Alaska is more than a mere Russian state. We are free of the outdated dogmas of the past. There are countless soldiers left stateless and divided by the turmoil of the 20th century. Personal merit, training, and the ability shall be the only criteria for citizenship. Werewolves hiring permanently. Let this be a home for the homeless. Tempest tossed to time. And to me. Very good. Very, very good. Now they're trying to attack again. 
which might be good, might not be good. I'm gonna go ahead and help out right here. And I'm gonna have you guys do this, go up to there, and then maybe you can cut someone off, maybe? See what happens. So, like I said, we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, we can buy more artillery. I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. That'd be super important. Now, I offered them one contract. I don't wanna offer them another one. Just to see what happens, you know? Now, they come over here, whatever. I don't really care, to be honest with you. The goal is to cut enemies off, so. There you go. Go and move on in. Go and move on in. Go ahead and move on in. Wet work. Gotta love it. Nice. Now, we can't break over the river, obviously, yet. Because we're not even trying. But, whatever. Oh, do we get paid? We got paid with the 10 million from the last time we helped out. 10 million really isn't that much. I'll be honest. It's, it's really not much at all. So, whatever. Not bad, not bad, not good. <laughs> Actually, can we buy some guns from the Americans? That'll be worth it, yeah. Actually, how many guns are we going to get? A thousand? Okay, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. It could be better, of course, but yeah, that's not bad. Help them out, that'll be good. Haven of Rome, the Republic, consolidating. Mitchell Livingston, World III, read the reports that have been l delivered to him and smiled, things were looking up indeed. Its efforts to improve the quality and size of the state's armed forces have borne fruit. Discipline, provided by many new training centers, has increased substantially, with fewer and fewer reports on insubordination. Equipment has slowly become standardized, with partnerships with armament concerns proving their worth. Field travel is being learned and communicated. Perhaps most importantly, more overseas manpower is arriving almost daily. Hardened men, veterans of the world's many wars and complex zones, were finding refuge in a place to call their own in the Far East. Their own discipline and skills will no doubt help stiffen the general soldiery to a great degree. Beyond that, their loyalty and dedication to a state where they could call their own would also prove, provide a heavy, a ready pool of administrators for the vast territories that could be administered. Ever so slowly, bit by bit, the sun shone ever brighter on the new republic, and he would look to ensure that it continued to do so. And we shall do, back in the game, around the world. Most people think of Siberia as a backwater, a frozen wasteland where the Soviet Union used to send its dissidents. Uh, they used to be correct. More mere decades ago, the Siberian Far East was a little more than a thousand of, of kilometers of forest and tundra consisted or contested by irrelevant warlords, but it has become so much more. Under world's guidance, it has become a land of potential that is no longer untapped. Siberia's cities are flourishing for the first time in decades, some of them for the first time ever. The nations grow richer by the day as foreign trade streams in, and local mines and factories produce ever greater amounts of raw and finished goods. We are witnessing the beginning of what can only be considered an economic miracle. Russia's largest and least populated region is now well on its track of becoming its wealthiest. Our reserves get more money, which is nice. I like the money. Let's we'll see what happens. Ooh, even more artillery? Yes, please. Get even better artillery after that. Yes, yes, yes. 20 days until we get better guns. Salazar's victory in Portugal? Very good. And our soldiers will be returning home now. And which will help out the following is Spanish. Spanish? Span. Spain. So when do we get paid? Hmm. Maybe when our soldiers return home we get paid. Maybe? La Coruña? The Galician Republic? A familiar foreign land. It's been four years of some change since Jack Ray set foot at Magadan. The city had changed since then. He'd probably he probably followed the stars and stripes all those years ago, of course. He was a craphead kid who lied about his age to get in at fifteen. His brief year span as part of the American expedition of force fighting alongside the whites made Jack into a man he was, a killer and a soldier. Now he was pushing fifteen this was all he knew. It felt right to return to it and to become a part of a nation that was built here. He hadn't had the privilege of sticking with the whites to the bitter end, said he would be part of the rear action in Scotland against the Germans. When the South African War began, he was too old to take part, but the West Alaskan Republic would take him. He brought his own gun and his years of experience with Magadan, ready to serve as one of the countless new mercenaries answering Werbel's call. A stream of Czech, Pole, Manchu, French, Scot, Irish, Mexican, and Argentinian men stepped off with him. Jack had to give it to Werbel. The crazy dude knew how to bring soldiers together. As he looked out across the dock, he saw plenty of soldiers young and old. Behind him on the ways were two more ships packed with what he had to assume were men and material. Jack had to keep reminding himself what was really happening. With two arms raised in the air, Jack said in his clipped Russian, I'm back, you dudes. The other men on the dock gave a ragged cheer as they welcomed another outcast under the ranks of the growing nation. Omnia si perdas, famam servar memento. Very good. Very, very good. Cool. Now, do we get the money from these guys? No. Okay, well, that sucks. Well, if we don't get paid, what's the point of helping them out, right? Portugal, please pay your dues. Actually, but at least Roger's learning something here, right? Not bad. He's learning more. We got better rifles finally. Finally, finally, finally. Uh, we could 
Eh, I'm just gonna do that. So I'm done like sending volunteers for now. I wanted to send volunteers just to see what it was like. And I like it. I like it a lot. But we gotta save up our equipment at this point now. Trucks, we don't need any more trucks. Over here, we can help these guys out, but it makes sense to do so. Back in the game, though, looking over Magadan, Mitchell Livingston, the Werewolf III, thought of his many mighty rooks and smiled. The person he had received earlier that morning, which was now sat on the table beside him, has been very, very clear. The Republic's economy was growing at a pace almost unheard of. Industry was expanding at an incredible pace. Resource extraction was increasing in both capacity and efficiency. Overall, commercial participation, both domestic and foreign, continued to increase. And as well, he's... As, and as he well knew, it was all thanks to his government and his policies. How could it not be? The communists, fascists, and fundamentalists had once contended the dominance of the Russian parties had utterly failed to leverage the near limitless resources of the land, but he had not. He brought good old-fashioned American ingenuity and entrepreneurship to his once darkened land. He brought this light of progress, and now one of Russia's poorest regions will soon become its richest. Yes, yes, he thought. The Far East was back in the game, and that game wasn't over by any stretch of the imagination, even as close to being over yet. Success breeds success. So, you're going to merge back to here together? We've got, like... How many divisions do we have? Five 40 combat with, so that will help against these guys, if needed. If needed. So since we're done with our focus tree for now, and until we get the next focus tree once we unify with Central Siberia, if they want to peacefully or not, we can spend more on doing this stuff like this. Expertise, industry, go ahead and do that since it will be 1970 soon-ish. I mean, we're still a little more than a year off, but that's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. And we want to increase relations with Americans. Um, just, if we don't get paid, there's no point doing it. We're not, we don't, we're not a charity here, so. 49% for Werble. There's a lot of support for other types of ideologies. Brusilov, Azarov, Nebogatov, another Brusilov, actually. Peter Brusilov, and Anton Brusilov. Alright, whatever. Yeah, so we're going to close this one. Mercenary Contract School. Better army professionalism. Yes, sir. Those two words seem to be the ultimate lesson in the history of military theory. Uh, it's not the quality of guns uh, or weaponry that make an army, but discipline. Those men that hold until the death because of a command will be the ones that claim victory. In a world of absolute war, brave new weaponry, it seems that we often forget the simple fact. An army cannot function without those two words. Luckily, anti-corruption programs in the army, now boot, new boot camps, have brought our army one step closer to the ultimate goal of Spartan valor. No longer will men defect or serve political masters. They will serve the generals and nothing less. Happy 1969, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. We get, we lose political power. Get more organization, recovery rate, attack, defense, planning, and intelligence. So, better industrial equipment, too. The economy is doing great, and new reforms in industrial subsidizing have resulted in the shipping of updated industrial equipment across the country. Products are being produced quicker and cheaper. The further progress of mechanization into the once ossified industrial world will prove a boon to work and manager alike. No more long, horrible hours. No more subpar products screwed in by imperfect human hands. Industry continues to march forward. These were a long time coming, however. Increases in budgets and a renewed focus on what our industries are making have increased support for a much needed renovation of our country's industrial equipment. Excellent. More resource efficiency gain, construction speed, and 10% more factory output, and 20% more industry output, or dockyard output, I should really say. Good. Now, a government of proposals, 16, this hasn't changed at all. Reunification? Prepare for, I don't want to prepare for war. I want to see if we can do some talks. Cold days? Oh, crap. Well... Going by the recent actions, see that all his hope of peace with the Central Siberian Republic has been dashed. In an announcement of the Tomsk, the Central Siberian state has claimed that we are an illegitimate state that stands in the way of their path to reunify all of Russia. Following this declaration of hostility, they have expelled all of our citizens within their borders. As their military starts to mobilize the clouds circle the horizon, it seems that our conflict of interest shall be settled on the battlefield rather than at the negotiating table. So be it. And we just do that just because we can. Um, we need some forts, absolutely. So, I'm going to go ahead and do, first of all, military factors because we need those. Infrastructure, because I love infrastructure. I like the political power. Manpower's not bad. We'll save that one. I'm going to go and grab some more forts. And then we'll probably, probably grab even more forts. If you'd like to read this, go right ahead, but it's basically the same thing. Even more forts. So basically, we've got 19 divisions. This is not going to be very good for us. Whatever. we got enough political power. Ooh. If we don't spend that much money, how much do, how much do we have? Wow, we spent 700 million. We gotta spend more though. I want more political power. I gotta get more construction done. Once we unify with these guys, then our budget will actually be probably pretty darn good. Better poverty relief, so be it. And then improve relations with Americans, maybe. Because right now, as we're just spending more money, get more output, get more, 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 more. We need more anti tank, unfortunately. We need more infantry equipment. We finally have 20 divisions, which is very good. And a quarter of these guys are 40 combat with. Oh my god, that's so many divisions. Jesus Christ, that's going to be difficult to fight. Whew. But if they go to war with us, and we don't go to war with them, like if they go, declare on us, that's fine with me. We get more war support, especially on court territory. That's great. 
Whoa! Margaret Chase Smith is inaugurated as President of the United States. Can't you keep her party united? I have not seen this happen, like, legitly. Like, I had to use console commands when I was playing as America before to make her, to get her elected to show off, like, what the 1972 presidents were like. I don't think I've seen Smith actually elected fairly before. But, a. Hey. Oh, wow, what happened here? Why is it so much better? Yeah, um, we're still spending a lot of money, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Whatever. Let's go over that one. And then, we can improve American relations. Is there anything else here? Even more construction. This stuff is all nice. We could get some more war support. Let's grab that one first, and then we'll improve relations with the Americans. And we get over, slightly over two a day, so I'm not too worried about that. Hey, that's not too bad, though. Nice. It's only 69. We could do that. I'm going to make sure we get some better guns, though. And maybe some better engine. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be very good for entrenchment. I mean, our guys, they're not going to do bad. They even have motorized recon, which is great. I might put on military police, even though they cost more infantry equipment. Just because that gives you quite a bit more defense. And a slightly more breakthrough, which is not bad. A little more suppression, but maybe not. We'll see what happens. Nice. Good relations. Good. And what are we currently building, actually? Do we have any more rooms for military factories? Any sort of factories? Good. Even better artillery. Nice. Even better artillery. Like, that's going to be our bread butter. Because it, it just makes sense. Because we had earlier focus saying that <clears throat> this is one of our doctrines. Using a just a crap load of artillery. Just so many shells going to be flying in the air. So many shells. Um, you know what? Actually, do, go ahead and build this stuff up because we're going to need it immediately to help defend. Infrastructure is great and all. I love it. Trust me, I love, love infrastructure, but sometimes you got to do some other stuff first. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be the ones attacking them. I mean, we could help here, but that doesn't do anything. Government or personnel... Yeah, not really worth it. Infantry improvements, good. Let's grab some better motorized, perhaps. It's slightly harder. I think the other one was like 10 hardness. This is like 15, if I remember correctly, so... That'd be good. Good. Go do that, too. Trucks. Oh, that's not bad. Education funding. Hire important instructors. Yeah. Hire important instructors. Because it's still going up. Political interference, 2.5. It's not much. We probably won't get the next level done, but that's fine. Poverty, please get the poverty done. If we can go from 50... To 80% poverty to 25 to 50%, you get 5% more stability, 5% more reward support, 0.25, 2.5 more recruitable population, 5% more output for both dockyards and factories, 5% more construction speed. Uh, you lose some monthly population, which is fine. You get some better research speed as well as 20% more taxable population. I like taxes. Well, I don't like paying taxes, but in game, I like taxes. Executive research. Ooh, we could do this. Hmm faster. Eh, we, we don't really need to do that. Just because we already have a pretty quick construction budget. So, just gonna do this stuff. That'll be fine. Yeah, I mean, we're already building infrastructure up so, so quickly. So fast. So fast. About a billion again. Whatever. Alright, do we have any spare planes? We don't have a lot of planes, actually. Oh, we got some early fighters. That's not bad. The longer we wait, the stronger they become, technically. But, the stronger we become as well. Since we are getting a lot more equipment, we're doing much better on our artillery. Infantry equipment's looking god-awful. <laughs> but whatever. Whatever, don't, don't worry about that. Trucks was fine. Trucks are fine. Manpower might be worth it. I wouldn't mind getting more war support, because they probably did the preparation decision to lower our war support, just like how we lowered their war support, so. Additional reserves. Add more land parts. So, I, so, these guys are looking not too weak. I'm looking at that. They're, they're 40 combat width. So, Serbia sides with Italy. Good for you guys, I guess. Begin the invasion. You guys are 40 combat width. I just... Okay, war on the horizon. If you like to read this, go right ahead. Winner take all. I'm not going to do that. Improve relations immediately. Oh, we can buy... Oh, yes. I need to buy some jet fighters. That'd be so good. And we have some radar over here, which is awesome. Well, it needs to get a little bigger before we can really use it effectively, but whatever. War is definitely on the horizon. 
And there's obviously only going to be one more episode after this just because, well, there's only so much you can do. Or until TNO 2 comes out. Oh, oh French state. Oh, look at that. Killing each other, huh? And we still never got paid from Portugal, which, hey, 9.87. 9.8, I mean. Not bad. Pretty good. We could buy trucks. Not really worth it, though. Begin the invasion. Civilian budget boosts. Uh, just build. Just spend. We need to build. We need all the extra political power that we can get. Hmm. We have two divisions. And we do, we do have... Actually, if we take out that tile, that'd be good. Oh, we could we could go to war with them first. Oh, we're actually running out of money. Let's go to trade. A little bit more fuel. There we go. That should definitely help us out. Okay, so you know what? Let's go and do it. Because our line is pretty short. If we could get over here quickly enough, that would be very good. Because they have a lot of divisions on the border. Oh, okay. Good. You're going to immediately attack so we can help turn up the line a little bit. Break over the river if you can. They're obviously going to be able to push us back a little bit, but whatever. Um, are they attack us anywhere? Maybe, maybe not. Come to Morun, Moron, Moron. Uh, definitely don't want to attack there yet. Oh, good. We got more base bleed. Very nice. Grab even the next one. Fifteen percent more soft attack. Awesome. Oh, I want to buy those jets. Yeah, yeah jets. I'm not even using tanks. Jets are where it's at, man. We have a billion in debt. Oh, we won there. Very nice. We've lost 200. We got off 900. Actually, how much manpower do they have? They have probably quite a bit, right? Oh my god, that's so many divisions. We have more. We have a bigger industrial base, though. Actually, did they beat them? Oh, wow! They actually unified. That's actually really cool. Bujad? Bujad? That's really, really cool. Oh, they're. Oh, we're getting attacked. I don't like that, but we beat them up as well. Yeah, I want to be careful with our soldiers, though. I mean, we have only so many. I would really want to attack here, but we don't have any that many spare soldiers to use. We could maybe try it? You know, if we, hey, if we can win! Hey, if we can win! I'm kind of all for it, you know? If you guys are moving around... Can you guys actually win here, too? I mean, this is a really bad idea. Oh, and we want to get that extra attack bonus when spending more money on the military. Spend it. I don't care what it costs. Oh, right here, that's not looking too good. If you helped out, though, could you guys win? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, are they moving in? You guys, yeah, you could win there, too. Oh, did we? Oh, we actually won there. Nice. We lost 7,000 versus... Oh, that's a lot of loss. We haven't even done forced attacks yet. Oh, Russia's falling apart right now. But, hey, that's okay. Combined assaults, good. Looking good. Move on in quickly. You'll get attacked in... in yep, there you go. They're getting attacked. We just gotta be smart about this. We've lost 8,000. They've lost 12,000. Even though these smallish galaxies don't really matter too much. Buy more artillery. Buy more guns. Artillery and guns are where it's at. Uh, th these are two provinces, which is not good. Not good. We need to get someone over here, too. Oh boy. We really gotta attack here. And Bratsk would be very good and get some more slots. I mean, that'd be very good. Let the guys get move around for itself. Let just let just move around. 8,000, 8, not bad. Buy guns. We need guns. Yemen. Oh, what? There goes Yemen. Civil War erupts in Yemen. Goodbye, Yemen. Oh, good lord. Hey, better engineers is great. It is still 69. Soft attack. So we could get uh, actually not get 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 this one. Yeah. Oh please hold on for the love of God. You gotta hold on. Oh, you're not gonna be able to hold on, are you? Go and retreat, that's fine. That's fine. No worries. No worries. Let them attack our line a little bit. We lost how many guys? Twelve thousand versus twenty seven thousand? Not bad, not bad. They oh boy. Yep, they're definitely trying to attack now. Which is fine with me. You know what? Let them wear themselves out on the line. We'll do great. Even though we don't have enough soldiers covering the line. Gosh darn it. I mean, if you want to attack again, you guys can win. I'm totally okay with that. Jerry Mock? Mogok? You can help them out, too. It's fine. Alright, so we got guns. Improve relations with the Americans. 
Nice. Trucks are fine, right? Trucks, still great. Oman. Oh man, I don't think the Western Siberian Provisional Authority is going to win, but hey, that, hey that's just me. I think I just want at least one. Can I get some helicopter? Oh, they're so close! We need 3% more training. Go far. Oh man, they are really trying to. Oh my gosh. Please don't lose, please don't lose. You know what? Help attack here. Nice, there you go. I'm not going to advance. I want them to attack the line more. They've lost 65,000 people so far. Wow. Oh, crap. Well, you move in then. You guys move up there. You guys are getting attacked really harshly. Can you guys actually win right there, maybe? Maybe if you guys help out, maybe? Yeah, no? Alright. Have everyone just hold. Hold the line. You gotta get an eagle's view to see the entire line at one time. Um. Hmm. Approve relations more, I suppose. That's fine. They've lost eighty-six thousand people. It's obviously not enough, but hey, whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. If you can hold, yes. Oh, if you can hold. Lost twenty-five. They lost over a hundred thousand so far. They still have 68,000, so we got a while to go. Stockpile wise, what are they looking at? A uh, good amount of planes, IVs, tanks. RPGs are out. They're out of infantry equipment. So they've got a lot of motorized like us. They're out of infantry equipment. That is very promising for us, actually. Quite promising. Hey, these guys were violent. They're the violent ones, not us. Not well. Oh, hello. Good. Don't even move in yet. Let them wear themselves out. Are we still moving in there? Yeah, we are. That's good. I'm, I don't know, guys, aren't 40 combo with. After we win this war, we have got to make all our soldiers 40 combo with, no matter the cost. So, ooh, look at this. Invest in heavy machinery? Don't mind if we do. We will once we get enough political power, of course. Uh oh, what's going on? I saw red. Can you guys actually win here, maybe? And they have low organization. Oh, it's going to be tight. And we're already running out of equipment, too, so. Come on. Oh, we can. Yes. Yes. They've lost 155, 100, almost 60,000 soldiers so far. Warble, do you have any upgrades? No, 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 not yet. That's okay. Yemen's defeated Yemen. Good job, Yemen. Actually, what's the air battles like? Not too much. Oh, we're trying to get that battalion back down there south. That's, south. That's fine. Ooh, you're going to need help taking that area out. Oh, they're not looking good in some areas. That is good, 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 good for us. Help him out, help him out. That'll be good. It doesn't seem like it's too much going on right there. That's fine. And they're immediately attacking us. They've lost 172,000. Not bad, not bad. They're still attacking. Love it, love it, love it. And they're out of manpower. Oh, if we attack, we'll end them now. Oh, I can't wait. I love American trucks and tanks. But let's get some more equipment. Very high support. I love the Americans. I love... Oh my god, we made it! Yes! Yes! Actually, I want to use someone who's good with this up. Mercenary, yes. Oh my goodness, there's so many people here. Entrenchment, eh, Roy Larson. Infantry. I like the recon. I really like the recon. We were using this person before. Oh, he's got even more. Yeah, I gotta use him. He's got even more attack. Oh my goodness. Get on the line. Oh, if we attack now, we could probably win. Oh, and these, oh, oh, you, oh, look at these speedy boys, and now they're probably not too great, I mean, we're using, like, really early helicopters, and only 20 combat width, ah, uh, it's not bad, breakthrough's not bad, speed is only 20.6, but hey, I'll take whoever I can get right now, actually, 20.6, hold on, no, their speed should be, th uh, it's, that's in, it's in the field, so, that makes sense, alright, guys, well, here we go, good luck, guys, Oh man, it's not looking good already. We could try to force the attack, but it's not going to help us out. Hmm. Well, let's come over here and do this. So let's go and stop the attacks. Especially, at least the attacks where we're losing. Hold it first. Hold it first. Now they might attack us in retaliation. But we're going to attack in areas that we can definitely win, so. Oh, don't worry about that, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oof. Spend welfare state programs, you betcha. 
Give us some time to get our guys under control, and we'll attack again, probably. Manually attack. Even better welfare state programs? You betcha. How far are we on this stuff? Oh, we're getting closer. It's nice. Alright, so. We're probably going to attack here next. Are they? Yes, they are. That's good. Send two guys over, including the planes. That'd be nice. And send you guys with them. Really weaken them first. Ooh, you guys want to help out? Don't mind if you do. Ooh, actually, don't attack there. That's, that's just too strong for now. <clears throat> That'll be good. Death of Ho Chi Minh. So be it. Whatever. Oh, they're attacking us still, huh? Civilian budget boosts. Actually, are we still building anything? Not really. I think we're done building the, the budget up. I think we'll be okay. And that means we're 1.3 billion, so be it. Whatever. Now we got to definitely attack right here, right now. Help out. And you guys are getting attacked. Not bad. Pretty good. <sighs> Improved motorized equipment. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Let's grab some more breakthrough defense. That's always very, 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 very good. Wow, we need 7,000 guns. Jesus Christ, that's so many guns we need. Hmm, seems like we're doing okay. Maybe they mobilize a little bit more. Do they have any more things here? No. Up to 46 divisions in total. Not bad. We just gotta concentrate our forces. That's all we have to do. So all you gotta do is concentrate your forces. So, four divisions is quite a few. Right here, though, we can definitely win there. Very few questions asked. Jerry, he's learning to become an infantry leader. That's good. Over here, we gotta attack next. And of course, we do have resistance as well. We can't forget about that. Come on. It's just so many divisions, though. And our air XP, I am noticing it's still going up, which is good. Produce American relations. Not much else there. Import heavy machinery. Mm. Oh, they're attacking us down here, huh? Oh, we've killed off 213,000. What if we cut this? <clears throat> we would be at what? <clears throat> Excuse me. Trucks. Eh, even more relations, why not? Alright. We got attack here. I'm gonna leave the helicopters out of this one. Where they can help attack. Naturally. Good. Are they attacking anywhere else? Not really. Oh man, the road to Tomsk is so far away. Oof. I would love to go and try and do encirclements. I just... Well, actually, we might be able to right here. We take... Oh, that's two tiles? That's so many. I like to destroy them there, but whatever. Alright, so we need a lot more guns. Actually, artillery's looking not too bad. Do we have any spare planes or any spare factories? I guess cast. We could try that, but... We need so many. Holy cow. You guys... Uh, we'll risk one guy here. Should be able to win. Come on, let me buy more American goods. Grass is Nanjing. Come on, get in there. Good. Now you immediately begin an attack here. I said in you as you support the attack. You immediately begin so they can't move. Boom. <clears throat> I knew this was a good idea. Hey, you can circle some divisions and destroy. Awesome. Oh, they're actually attacking us here too, huh? Hold out, guys. You can hold out. Oh, they're really trying to attack harshly. A quarter million of them have died, which is awesome. I'm worried about this one right here. It hasn't moved. Oh, even up north there. Oh, good lord. Force defense. Either you're going to die and they're going to die. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Good, 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 good. This is why I'm glad I got the uh, scout copters, because they can move pretty quick. They can move very quick, actually. Can you get up here, actually? I'm thinking that we might be actually able to attack here and circle these guys, maybe? Maybe not? How fast can we move in here? Hmm. Can you guys attack? No, you can't attack there. Huh. Well, then. You know, Buzzby, come here, then. Can you actually win right here in Konsk? If you could... Ooh, better engineers, great. It's getting close to 1970. I'm going to go and grab better military police, because we're already using that to put down resistance, so that'd be good. 
Come on, come on, come on. Good. Let's go two more divisions. Come on, move, 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 move. Just take one of you guys. Great. Come on. God, how long are you going to take to get over there? Good. Oh, we got him. Hopefully. I think we got him. Maybe, maybe not. <clears throat> Alright, so we've killed off over a third of a, of a million. And we're slowly chipping off their numbers to, to the point where they can't really... Well, they're losing the guys. Basically. Hmm. Level 4, not bad. I don't think World was anything because his promotion cost... Or his, maybe he gets less XP, I don't know. <clears throat> Very, very good. Jerry looks pretty happy, though. And that's what matters, right? As long as you're happy and having a good time, does anything else really matter? Maybe. Maybe. Crest Noyars would be a great thing to get right now. A tremendous thing. But we got more chocolates to do, so. <clears throat> you guys heading over here, which is great. I'll send both of you down here, and I'm going to send you immediately down here. And then we're going to circle his head. We'll attack him down here and take out two more divisions. Good. Oh, I love helicopters so much. We can actually probably improve them, but I want to keep working on our infantry. More breakthrough, more soft stack, all that good stuff. I love it. God dang, you guys are fast. I love it. Now, you guys are going to hold right here and immediately begin attacking, and you're going to have some only one guy over here. So this way you can help me finish these guys off pretty quickly. Get those choppers in there. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. God, I love choppers. I love special forces. <clears throat> Alright, so we're slowly winning this war, guys. Slowly. It's just got to be like this. We just started with fewer divisions than they did. Which is obviously never good, but whatever. And we're going to have pretty good relations. I wanted to peacefully reunify with Tomsk, but they said no. Why did they say no? Because they're foolish. Good, good, good. Go ahead and come on down there. You can help with the attack as well. And we'll attack there and take out two more divisions. Perfect. Oh, come on. We definitely need more fuel, though. Oh, they threw in three divisions in total. That's not cool. Head on down there. You just head on in there, too. You, of all things, go right there. Are they moving in yet? Nope, they're not doing anything, which is great. Terrorist attack in Italy. Well, that's not good. Alright then, cool. Well, maybe not cool for the Italians, because, you know, they've lost some people. You know, let them come in. Let them come in. And then we'll take this to tile, maybe. Oh, no, they, they left the other direction, huh? Alright, so be it. Uh, you guys are moving in. Krasnoyovsk would be so good. But I want to make another encirclement before anything else. Any more tanks, jets, anything interesting? Not really. What are you taking so Oh, you're not even coming over here. Well, then you guys all move into there, that's fine. Because I want to get to Kaizo. Actually, I'm going to sacrifice... Or... I'm not going to sacrifice him, but I'm going to... Use him as bait. So here we go. We're going to go to Kaizo. We're going to go all the way down here if we can. And you guys are just going to immediately attack. I'm going to cut all these guys off. This is going to screw up the front line so much. So much. That's alright, though. Go, go, helicopter birds. Oh! Actually, we were so fast, we beat them over there. Nice. I guess head over there. That's fine. And you guys can head out down here too. It's over the river, which sucks, but whatever. Keep these guys in place. Oh, they want to tickle us, which is not good. Nice. Come down here. Just take everything. Good. God, I love special forces. Tanks. Buy more artillery. Are we even building anything? It's radar and stuff like that, but not too much. Oh, they're still moving? So, yeah, they, yeah, they are. Love it. Head on down here. Help them out. Help them out. <clears throat> They've lost 
almost 400,000 soldiers. Not enough. Alte, thank you. Help them out, help them out. These guys are, there's only three divisions down here, but whatever. All right, so we can buy some more, eh, buy some more guns. Worker training, why not? Thank you. Oh crap, come on. Oh, there we go, good. Stop out right here. It's only three divisions, but whatever. Support weapons, help them out. And anti-air, no, I don't do that one. Defense and breakthrough, that's always good to get. Where are you going? You're gonna die. That's where you're going. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Alright. That was actually really good. Keep spinning. Oh, wow. 408. That's not bad. Oh, we got more factories, too. 110. That's not bad. Uh, Where do we want to go? Abakata? Where's a good place to for us to attack? Obviously, you can tell this is a long video, but you know what? This is, this is TNL. What do you expect? Uh, we could take out the soldiers up top, maybe, but nah. Oh, Cross Noyarsk. We gotta get that one. That'll be pretty much the end for any opposition from these guys. 700 some. 408, not bad. Better agriculture methods. If you'd like to read about this, go right ahead, but I want to keep speeding things up, so. For this bread, we think the. Wait, it automatically. Okay, okay, whatever. Didn't see what it was it about, but okay. Better recon for our soldiers. Awesome. 400 million in terms of debt. Electronics. Not bad. Love it. And we should probably start stockpiling political power because we're going to need that where we're going. And where we're going is coring all this land that we're currently taking. So. I don't know. There. Good. Give us more organization. Do they have any more manpower left? No, they do not. 58 factories. And they have 22 uh, divisions max. So we actually are... We have the advantage. We could try a general attack, but I think it would be safer if we just tried something like this real quick. We should go there, there. And you're gonna, I'm gonna just go crazy with these guys. Give them a few seconds, head start. And then we're gonna do a general attack. I think at this point we could probably do a general attack. And once they start moving around, we'll go a little bit more crazy. Uh, kill these guys off first then, that's fine. These guys will be more than fine. Go ahead, let everyone attack. If we can win, the Kutsun base captured. If you like to read this, go right ahead. Get some better resource efficiency gain, get some consumer goods, love it. We cut these guys off. We're going straight for Tomsk. Through Novosibirsk. We've been cut off. Soviet. We'll save our soldiers fast enough. It'll be fine. Uh, 66? Yes. Yes, please. Krasnoyarsk. Are we going in? Yes, we are. Oh, we've been cut off. And they found us out. That's not good. That's not good. Hey, if you want to read about the Krasnoyarsk Railway Junction captured, go right ahead. Better consumption, uh, supply consumption, and more construction speed, and more speed? Oh, yes. Go, 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 guys, go. You're, it's your goal to break across to get some supplies to these guys. And I think the war is pretty much over for them. 47 billion in GDP, not bad. Not bad at all, love it. We lost 63,000, they lost 434. Go, 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 guys. Electronics, party relief. Oh, we lost the basin, whatever. I don't really care, to be honest with you. Recon companies, Noble Sibirs, air plant, crap. Plant captured. Good. Give us some more of this. Oh, it's 1970. Let's grab some of this. Awesome. Just awesome. Poverty relief. Oh, I invested in construction. What the heck? That's making sense. Why did I do that? Maybe I'll just click on things too quickly, maybe. Probably. Oh, just get to Tomsk before we lose Nova Sabirsk. You know what? You get to that. Tomsk. Tomsk. Oh, we got it. Come on. Oh, yeah. I told you we could do it like that. Oh, that's so good. Such a great episode. But, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. But, let's go ahead and do this for stuff as well. Oh, man, we need so much political power. Reunification of Russia. Awesome. And, actually, we're going to focus. Let's end with the focus, right? The Fortis Fortuna Adiovat. Fortune favors the bold, so the slogan that has dictated mercenary lives for hundreds of years is run. The underdog who fights for the coin in wars was that not of their own, their life of the, life of the soldiers of fortune, whose goddess shepherds them from one battle to the next, in pursuit of glory and wealth. She is a fickle die deity for one era. Mercenaries were prized warriors, foundations of empires, and the downfall of nations before national armies eliminated the need for them. With the foundation of the U.S. of Siberia, it seems that she has bequeathed a home for her followers. The Western Russians stationed their troops outside our borders, outnumbering us in equipment, division count, and personnel. Yet, 
like all the underdogs. The odds have always been against us. Fortune favors the bold, and Werewolves not done gambling. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, really consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow, when as we integrate more territories, as well as reunify all of Russia under us. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.